you know, I was a student at the University of Toronto. I was in my second year and I got really interested in forensic science, you know, CSI and all that kind of stuff. So I was doing, I thought, oh, I'll do a minor in CSI kind of stuff, forensic science. And initially you're allowed to do the first two years of it. And then they wash out, the, they kicked me out. They said, no, sorry, Mr. Ibrahim, after your psychological profile, we can't have you on. You're not fit for the job. They, you know, there's certain criteria. They're right. I don't like blood. So I, I don't know what I was thinking, right? <laughs> so here I am in this forensic science exam and I'm taking forensic science with, he's still teaching. You can Google him. University of Toronto, Professor Mellenby, and he's the department head. And it's Forensics 239, the course. And we came to a module about forensic psychology. And I had an exam and it coincided with Jumu'ah prayer. And I was asked to be the Imam of Jumu'ah at a far away masjid from where the university campus is. 20 minute drive at least, even if I'm super quick. So I call up the masjid and say, brother Yahya, this is really, you know, we, we have no one else. You have to come. I said, Ikhwan, I got an exam. Please brother. I said, okay, let me talk to my professor. I ring up, can I come and see you in your office? Yes, come Mr. Ibrahim. I went, I said, listen, you know, the exam starts at one, but we have Friday prayers at one. And because I'm praying at a mosque in Mississauga, which is a little bit of a distance from where we are, uh, it's gonna take me at least 25, 30 minutes to get here. And the exam, it's a 50 minute exam from one to 150. It means I'm only gonna have 20 minutes left. Do you mind if I take it from 12, you know, as soon as I'm finished, the next set of students will come in. I won't be able to talk to it. He goes, Mr. Ibrahim, we're not here to meet your, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Either you're there or you're not. Whatever time you have left is the time you have. We have no extensions. And I said, all right, thank you. And I thought, it's okay. I'm going to go do my Juma. And after Juma, I said, Salaamu Alaikum, Salaamu Alaikum. I was running, jumping over people, got in the car, flying. And I got to the university, double parked my car. I said, if I get a ticket, it's okay. Just threw my car. And I ran and I got there 140, 140 something, 10 minutes left. And he smiles at me as he gives me a, you know that smile, right? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you. And I sat down and I thought, okay, look, let me do as many, and it's multiple choice. You know the, the multiple choice card that you put through the computer that scans it? I read the questions. It's a psychology and psychiatric component. I read it. First answer, C. I was like, cool. Second one, C. It's like, oh, that's all right. Third one, C. Something's not right. But I don't have time to go back and read it. Fourth one, C. One minute left. Fifth one, C. And I thought, 30 seconds left. I just put C, 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 C. 80 questions. And I just put the whole thing, C. We come back after a fortnight. You know, we have a holiday after exams. Come back after a fortnight. And Mel B is red in the face. He looks like a dinosaur, ready to bite my head off. And I'm saying, I don't know what's happening. And he goes, this was supposed to be part of a, your psychological component. And we wanted to do something different this year. We made all the answers C to see who would doubt themselves. Cause you're not gonna put in C for 80 questions. But because I never read the questions, I just put C, C, C. C. And I said, wallahi, that's from Allah, right? 100%. And when he gave me back that exam and it had 100 and I'm sitting there and he goes, uh, we won't be doing this again because you know, uh, certain things happen that cause statistical irregularities. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a law, brother. You keep your statistics, man, right? 100%. And honestly, you know, when I tell that, I honestly say it in reality, in my heart of heart, in my belief, that that is Allah helping an individual who chooses something for Allah, right? And I got an A in that course because that exam was a 40 mark exam, 40% of my final. And I knew I was being graded a little, I was still doing well. Like I was still, I get back my exam, you know, B plus when it really is an A paper. It really was A, but I get like a B, a B plus. You get that sometimes, right? And that exam put me over the top. I was like, yeah. That's how we do it. Muslim style, brother. Don't you go against Jumu'ah, you know? Yeah, so things like that happen in life all the time.